I'm so blessed to talk again with you. Today is March 15th. I'm coming with the 74th drop of the living water. By this time, we learned Sower's parable and all four uh, soil conditions. Finally, we learned about fertilized ground and that uh, plants the seed and become a tree and gives fruit and uh, hundred folds. It's fruitful. So generational wise, all the spiritual blessings on the way. So there's another problem here. Many people, I've seen this, uh, many, they are so struggling to develop their spiritual life. They go to every Bible study. They go to church, this church, that church, wherever the gathering, they run to every place. They change place to place. They change their pastors. They go pastor shopping, church shopping. And also they pray a lot. They pray early in the morning. They pray midnight. They read the Bible from cover to cover. They buy heart a lot of verses. And all the walls are full, hanging all the Bible verses. And fast. Yet, when the problems, troubles come, their life is not in line with the word of God. They are so much troubled and disturbed. And at the end, they get discouraged, they give up. And they, they, they get fed up. So this problem is not only today. It had... That problem was there when Jesus Christ was on this earth. So he gives a very tiny, very simple technique how to overcome all these things. Very simple thing. And I want to share that with you. Let's go to the word of God. It is Mark chapter 10 verse 15. Let's see this. The Lord Jesus says, Truly I say to you, Whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it at all. The necessity, the importance of being a child. That is the key to enter into the kingdom of God. Not praying long hours, fasting, not reading every day, every minute. Don't, they don't even work. They spend a lot of time. But the key is to be a child. What is the difference? What are the obstacles if we are adult? Let me tell you, we have so many pre, like uh, previous knowledge. Our head is fully, fully, fully filled with all the knowledge, head knowledge, and pre-assumption, beliefs, others' opinions, and arguments, challenges, debating. And we also, we are stuck in a frame. I always say that uh, religious frames, scientific frames, traditional frames. So in all these things, it's very hard to come out of it. So now let's go to a child. They don't have this head knowledge. They don't know anything. So therefore, they don't have any argument or debates. No, they don't. So they just believe. And also... They, they don't care about what other people think. So, so adults, they, they don't laugh because I don't know what if, if these people think of something else, something else, so they don't smile. So they don't say, even they are hungry, they don't tell that. Are you hungry? No, no, I'm okay, but they are starving inside. Why they think of what other people think of me? Kids, they don't care. They cry, they're hungry, they smile, they laugh. They are so genuine and so, so honest. They are so transparent. So it is so simple. So it is very easy for them to grasp this truth and go into kingdom of heaven. So they don't know how to argue, but they just believe. Not only believing, they adopt that truth. They adjust themselves. Trust and obey. There is no other way. So... If we cannot do that, the, Jesus Christ clearly says that they cannot enter it at all. So that is so um, serious. People today, they try to prove these uh, divine things, divine truths in the Bible with science. I was there, so I know that. We wanted to 
put put something in the test tube and we need to prove it in a lab but it doesn't work like that why science is very young it cannot grasp all these divine facts science cannot compare or prove divine facts and also anything under the sun cannot grasp the divine forever like everlasting facts so therefore the key here is instead of believing or debating with uh, physical things under the sun believe the one who created sun and moon because science is also his one of his creation so if we become child of god like childy childish mentality so we grasp everything and we adjust we change ourselves and it is so easy to follow him and our ultimate goal is so near so keep uh, pay, pay your attention and comment underneath if you have any problem any challenge we are here for you and let's overcome together see you tomorrow may god bless you